On this vote, the yeas are 200. On this vote, the yeas are 216. The nays are 214. Accordingly, the motion is adopted. Accordingly, the House stands adjourned until noon tomorrow. Tempers were high on the floor. Cheers and boos in the House of Representatives following another failed vote for the Speaker of the House. Lawmakers are now home for the night, and while political theater plays out in Washington, it is actually reminding North Carolina Republicans of the same predicament that resulted in co-speakers in the State House 20 years ago. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis joining us here in the studio. Now, Morgan, that deadlock didn't produce winning results. Yeah, Alicia, it really didn't. It resulted in a Republican and a Democrat sharing the role, alternating days over the state house, and what caused the stalemate eventually landed some in federal prison. You know, it gives me like an upset stomach and nausea because it reminds me of 2003 in North Carolina. Former North Carolina GOP leader Dallas Woodhouse is watching the spectacle unfold in Washington, knowing what happened 20 years ago in North Carolina was a bad look for the party. It was a, a demonstrable failure for Republicans in North Carolina. It, it kept them from controlling the chamber. After a week-long stalemate in 2003, Jim Black and Richard Morgan were elected co-speakers. Democrat Black and Republican Representative Michael Decker later served time in federal prison when it came out Black bribed Decker to switch his party affiliation and support him forcing the tie. In retrospect, a lot of bad things happened, including a whole bunch of cash uh, exchanged at hands in the IHOP bathroom in Salisbury, North Carolina. Fast forward to today, Woodhouse wonders what will happen when the dust settles. The pessimistic side of me that says whoever we elect will not be able to, to, to command a majority of Republicans to do anything. And this two years that have been granted to the Republicans to run the House will not only be wasted, but seen as very ineffective. Former President Trump called on Republicans to cast their vote for McCarthy to avoid embarrassment. The comments aren't resonating with Never Kevin voters. Is bankrupting the country embarrassing? Is allowing what's happening that this administration is raiding our borders, crime in the streets? That's embarrassing. The fact we're taking uh, a couple of days to decide this, or months, or longer, I could care less. When you see everybody lining up to do the same thing all the time, with getting a result that you're dis that you find horrendous, that's what you should be worried about. So someone who's lived through both the multiple North Carolina House Speaker votes as well as U.S. House Speaker vote going on right now is Representative Patrick McHenry of North Carolina's 10th District. He's been a champion for McCarthy trying to secure votes in the last two days. But Alicia McHenry's name is also one that's been floated around as a potential House Speaker. Such interesting history there. All right, Morgan, thank you for that.